The Telegraph Letters page has been full recently of strange accounts of things being cooked in dishwashers. We've heard about a boiled egg for breakfast, poached salmon, and even a suckling pig. I have no desire to put a suckling pig in my dishwasher. However, I am going to attempt to cook a three course meal. On today's menu, we have the unorthodox first course of a boiled egg. I'm vegan, but my housemate is not, so I'm going to take one of his. And then we will have a variation on coco van that will follow with a rice pudding, all of which will be cooked in the dishwasher. So my plan is to put the mason jars full of shaken up food amongst the dirty dishes. The inside of the dishwasher is very hot and very wet, so the key is to use sealed containers like this sort of egg sized jar that I've salvaged. I'm going to put some water in the bottom, put the egg in, and to boil. The egg's ready to go. Now for the rest. The only rule is that we can't use any sort of heating apart from the dishwasher. So I can't heat up onion or garlic or mushroom for the coco van in a pan. I simply have to put it all in a jar, shake it up and hope that it cooks okay. These are ready to eat vegan chicken pieces made by Oomph. Adding some flour up to thicken the sauce just a little bit. Good luck. They say online that you should thinly slice potatoes so that the heat can penetrate to the core of the potato during the relatively short distance cycle. I'm hoping that these will be the least disgusting thing that's going to come out of the dishwasher in the next couple of hours. Probably as good as these potatoes are going to get. And finally, I'm making the poached strawberries with rice pudding. And because I want this to be a very fair test, I'm using microwave rice. This rice pudding will be lacking in many regards, but not in maple syrup. I'm going to poach the strawberries by halving them and submerging them. I'm putting this on the longest and highest possible setting in the hope that something inside it will cook. Let's go. Two hours later, the dishwasher has finished. Let's see how our food is got on. It is ready. This is my egg eating housemate, Francis, who's put himself forward to eat the egg. Oh, it's actually um, very soft boiled. It's a nice runny yolk in the middle there. I think you've got an optimal egg there. Dip my soldier in there. Mmm. That's definitely uh, definitely a, a passable boiled egg. A good one, in fact, yeah. I'm holding the two warm jars that contain my main course, and you'll see that the coco van has become some kind of disgusting emulsion in which nothing seems quite to have cooked or to have mixed. Whereas the potatoes, they look mildly cooked. They look mildly cooked. This is the one I'm really worried about. And it doesn't actually smell, it doesn't smell as bad as it looks. I'm quite surprised to be able to say that this is not entirely inedible. The, the onion is still opaque. Um, the potatoes aren't fully cooked. It's a, it's a heated version of the ingredients. The rice pudding mixture has evidently not mixed half as well as it would on a hob. You can see that there's milk just slopping around, and the strawberries look like they were pickled in formaldehyde several centuries ago. They, they're bleached, their colour is washed out. Strawberries, Very pale. 
This is good. The rice has not been softened enough to really blend with the coconut milk, but the flavors work. I'd like to say that this experiment was a resounding success, but in fact, the opposite is true. Although the rice pudding was tasty, it was not properly blended, even though I used microwave rice. The egg looked okay, but this coco van just was not right. I had failed to appreciate that when you use a hob, you are able to adjust things as you go and respond to errors you make in your cooking, such as mine, which is adding too much wine. The problem with dishwasher cooking, which I suppose is true of oven cooking, is that you cannot interfere with the food once you put it in. That said, I do feel that my eyes have been opened to the possibilities of unorthodox domestic cooking. So perhaps Christmas dinner could come from my boiler or a birthday meal from the shower. Thank you, dishwasher cooking, for opening my eyes 